Welcome to Touch Technology Review. Today I'm going to show you how to edit green screen footage on your iPhone with the brand new version of iMovie for iOS that was just released in around June 2019. So make sure that you have the latest version of iOS 12 and also iMovie installed before you go ahead with this tutorial. It wasn't previously available on iMovie for iOS, it was only able to be done using the desktop version for OS X in the past. So it's a welcome new feature and I'm really looking forward to demonstrating how you can do it. Before we get into the demonstration, a quick discussion about green screen footage itself and how you can go about preparing the actual video before you get into the editing mode. Now, if you've already got green screen footage ready to go, jump ahead to the next section. I'll leave a link to it in the description box below. But for those of you wondering what green screen footage is, what I'm talking about, a quick explanation. Essentially what you're doing with green screen footage is you're knocking out the green background color, making the background of the image transparent so you can overlay it onto another background. So you could have yourself presenting, it could be another person presenting that you're filming, and you can knock out the background completely and overlay it on top of another photo or video. Now, incidentally, it doesn't have to be green. It can also be blue. So whichever color you choose, whichever one you've got available, you just need a large roll of background paper in that color or material, and it will help if you have a little bit of lighting available. And if you keep your subject separated from the background, by at least a meter, you'll avoid shadows in the background and it will be a much more even background in order to key out in post-production. But having said that, there's some really cool masking features and some parameters that you can actually use to get rid of some of those artifacts created by the shadow. And I'll show you that in just a moment. So we'll open up iMovie by tapping on the iMovie icon. Then we'll tap on the plus button to create a new movie and we'll select the movie option not trailer because we're creating an iMovie movie in this example. The next thing I'm going to do is select the media that I'd like to use in my background. So I'm going to show you a couple of options here, including some still photos and some video. So in order to select your footage, just navigate to it in the media library, tap on the footage you want to include, and then tap on the tick in order to add it to your project. Then once you've selected all your media, tap on the create movie option at the bottom of the screen. So there we have all our potential backgrounds in place on the timeline. So now I want to include my green screen footage as overlay on top of that background footage. In order to do so, tap on the plus button on the left hand corner just below the preview window. And then navigate to your green screen footage, tap on it once and then tap on the icon with three dots next to the play button. And you can select whether to include it as cutaway, picture in picture, split screen footage, green or blue screen or audio only. So this is a green screen clip. I'm gonna select green screen, tap on that. Now it's going to overlay the green screen footage on top of that background video. And as you can see, it's already created the key. Now sometimes, it isn't perfect when you first import that footage. In this example, you can see on the right hand corner, there's elements of the wall where the green paper wasn't covering the full scene. So I need to mask that out. So in order to create a more detailed mask of your green screen, simply tap on the green screen footage on the timeline. And then you'll see two parameters appear on the preview window. There's an adjustment parameter, and also a mask parameter. So I'm gonna tap on the mask first of all, and then you'll see a yellow box mask, which you can then contract in and remove unnecessary elements from the actual scene, and it will completely mask those out. So now my green screen mask is only centered around the main subject, and I won't have to worry about the edges of the video clip. And then the next option is to adjust the strength of the mask. So if you find that it hasn't created the mask accurately, you can apply more or less strength depending on how much is needed. If you go too far in strength, you start to turn into a ghost, so that's not any good. So I'll come back to a point where I can just see myself appear and all the edges are nice and clear. And this is really gonna depend on the quality of your key, which is what I was talking about earlier. The better lit the background is, 
the more clarity between the subject and the background, the more success you're going to have with this key. So play around with the strength of it if you need to. Otherwise, it should pick automatically the best strength for your footage and then tap on play. And there is your green screen footage. Let's have a look at how it looks with some other images behind it. So there you go, it's as simple as tapping to add your footage and adjusting a couple of parameters. Thanks for watching, hopefully this has inspired you to create your first green screen movie using iMovie for iOS. If you found this information helpful in any way, feel free to hit me up with a like and also consider subscribing to the channel. There'll be more videos just like this and in fact, I've already created a few on some different features available in iMovie which I'll leave a link to in the description box below. If you wanna see more, hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified of up and coming video releases. See you on the next one, bye for now.